follow instructions. Genesis 19 verses 18 through 26. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please. Your servant has found favor in your eyes, and you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life. But I can't flee to the mountains, this disaster will overtake me, and I'll die. Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it is small. Let me flee to it, it is very small, isn't it? Then my life will be spared. He said to him, Very well, I will grant this request too, I will not overthrow the town you speak of. But flee there quickly, because I cannot do anything until you reach it. That is why the town was called Zor. By the time Lot reached Zor, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah, from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus, he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. Heavenly Father Today's reading shows the value of following instructions as given. Lot was told to flee within a specific window of time and told not to look back. The cities would be destroyed because of the magnitude of their sin. Let us take your warning seriously, without hesitation, so we can be spared. Many times, we look back at memories, times, and places that are special to us. We don't know why Lot's wife looked back, but she was punished for disregarding the instructions. As you speak to us today, let us not just hear you, but let's follow your instructions. Have mercy upon us and save us from your wrath and destructions, in Jesus' name we pray, Amen.